Hi guys, so excuse my mad appearance right now because I am literally so flustered. Like, look at the back of this car, and I don't even have my own car for some reason today. One of my drivers took it off, so yeah, I'm just traveling in uh, a taxi. I'm trying to take all the stuff uh, to our shoot location today. We have this really massive shoot planned. Um, it's at a studio, kind of close to my house, so that's okay. So we're just going there to set up. We were meant to start at 12, and it's already one. Um, and we're just setting up right now, so I think it's gonna take another two hours or something to set up and get started. But yeah, I thought of taking you guys behind the scenes uh, for this shoot because it's gonna be a fun one. We're shooting for Gucci and also Tommy Hilfiger, so we're shooting for two perfumes for both these brands, and both the themes are like pretty different and pretty unique. Um, so um, thought of taking you guys behind the scenes and. That's the best. Anisha is in town right now getting some of the other stuff uh, while I was figuring out stuff from this side of the town and heading to the studio right now. A lot of my team is already at the studio, so it's a crazy, crazy Monday and it's raining. So, yeah. And guys, guess what? I'm actually flying out tonight. I'm going to Bangkok for uh, a quick one, actually. I'm going there with Onitsuka Tiger. So it's going to be a quick uh, trip to Bangkok. So I thought of vlogging so I could show you the shoot and I could also take you guys along with me to Bangkok. So yes, let's do this. Okay, so I'm at the studio now and it's pretty raw right now. Everything's being set up right here. And you guys will see in a few what we're planning to do. We're literally creating this entire set with real flowers. So we've got our florist right here and we're like, setting up with all the flowers but uh, yeah right now it's pretty raw but in the next one hour or so it's gonna completely change my outfits are here uh, I have two options for Gucci either this one which is from Ohilia Khan Ohilia Khan and one is from Papa Don't Preach we're sort of leaning towards this one but we'll see what I wear and then my Tommy outfit is in my suitcase and let's meet the team uh, so that's Soumya she's gonna do, be doing my makeup and we've got a really cool look planned for Gucci, like glossy lids and all of that. And that's Wimal. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> and she's gonna be doing my hair. I'm gonna leave the links down below so you guys can check out their work. But it's gonna be a really fun shoot. And that's Mridme. Hi. She's gonna be shooting. <laughs> So yes, um, it's gonna be fun. Anisha is, as I mentioned, still in town getting some of the other props. And now we're just gonna get started. This place is gonna transform. Look how pretty. Huh? What are you having, Brina? It's actually alcohol from Starbucks. What? How? Why? Secret. It's a backup, guys. We're done shooting. I'm so happy with what we got. Um, hopefully, by the time this vlog goes up, you guys will see what's on Instagram. But um, yeah, I mean, let's just hope that the campaign's out by then. I'm gonna probably link down uh, the pictures from the campaign. You guys can go and check it out. Uh, but it was a really fun and quick shoot. And now we're just packing up and then I'm gonna head home, get dressed, get showered, and head to the airport. I literally feel like every vlog starts with me in a new city going like, hello guys. So it's routine now but hello guys from Bangkok um, I got here this morning actually but I had no energy whatsoever to like pick up my camera and vlog because we landed at about 4 in the morning in Bangkok so um, yeah just got to the hotel had some breakfast and slept uh, we're staying at Sofitel Hotel so Sofitel something like that uh, but it's a really nice hotel I love the interiors of my room it's actually a really nice room um, and I got some sleep and uh, I'm super fresh just got dressed and I'm about to head out with Osama to go and get some lunch uh, but before I tell you what I'm doing um, let me just tell you what I'm doing in Bangkok because I didn't uh, sort of 
tell you the main bit. Um, I'm here in Bangkok with Onitsuka Tiger. It's a really iconic brand, guys, especially for their shoes. Like, if you guys don't know about Onitsuka Tiger, go and check them out because um, the shoes are super iconic, like very cool, uh, super comfortable. Sadat loves this brand. So when I told him I'm coming to Bangkok with Onitsuka Tiger, he was like, damn, he's stuck at work, so he couldn't come with me. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just so excited to be here with them. So I'm basically here for their preview. So they uh, have recently launched a new collection. So uh, this evening we get to go and check out the new collection, go for the preview. Um, there's a really cool after party happening after the preview. Um, and we actually also get to meet the designer um, at the launch. So I mean at the preview. So it's going to be a fun evening. Uh, but for now we have about two hours in our hands. So uh, we're just going to head out, uh, get, a get a bite um, and then come back to the hotel and get dressed and go to the event. So this is the outfit that I'm uh, sort of planning to wear this evening with of course these gorgeous um, Onitsuka Tiger shoes. They just sent me these new ones. I already have a pair of yellow shoes but then they sent these um, to me and then I'm just gonna pair these shoes with this really pretty crochet dress with some fringe detailing going on um, and I'm just gonna carry my Chloe Nile, maybe some earrings, maybe a leather jacket, we'll see. Taking our way to Bitterman to grab a bite and it's actually pretty close to the hotel as I mentioned. back from vitamin um just about to start getting ready i have like 20 minutes so i'm just gonna sort of fix my hair not sure how much i can fix it because i mean i have a lot of product on from yesterday's shoot and i didn't get time to wash my hair because i was i mean i went to meet siddharth after the shoot so i couldn't really wash my hair and then i had to directly go to the airport but we'll see what to do i have my dyson with me so i'm just gonna try and maybe do a bit of curls and uh, makeup wise I just want to sort of do a bit on my eyes and uh, yeah that's it Back from the event guys, it was such a good event, oh my god, I love the whole setup that they did, they converted a warehouse into um, a preview slash fashion show and then at the end of it it just turned into a party because they opened up another section and they had like drinks flowing, music, they had, they had like this really cool DJ who was playing music so it was a really good event and guys like the collection was off the hook, like I don't really use that term quite often, off the hook 
but it was off the hook because I mean so many statement pieces like especially the shoes like Osam and I were like whoa I want that I want this like really cool pieces stuff that you don't want to style with like basic outfits but then you want your shoes to pop so they were like those kind of shoes and then the clothes were also really cool um so yeah i i actually recorded a bit so i think you guys already saw some stuff from the event but um i took my camera along but it was too noisy there so i couldn't really like pop it out and talk to you guys at the event uh but you guys saw what it was like it was a really good event i actually changed i'm just wearing this uh white mini dress because uh, I'm uh, about to head out for dinner, I wanted to wear something a little more comfy because I mean, I really want to eat. I'm so hungry, guys. I'm waiting for Assam to wait. Yeah, I'm waiting for Assam to just like get dressed so we can head out. But I think we're going to go to this place called, um, what is it called? Um, Missing Buru. Someone from the team just recommended this place. It's a Mexican place. So we're probably just going to go there. Oh, and I forgot to show you my dress. Like when I was leaving, I forgot to show you what I was wearing uh, to the event because I was like uh, sort of rushing out. Uh, but um, I'll insert a picture right now of what I wore. Uh, it was like this crochet midi dress with like fringes and stuff. Uh, it was a really fun dress and I actually got it from Forever 21 in Korea. I know. Like I got a lot of stuff from Forever 21. Like I usually never shop from that brand. Like uh, I had this phase when I would shop from Forever 21 a lot. But um, it's been a while since I've shopped from that brand. And I just feel like the stock has just gotten really bad. Um, and uh, I mean in, in Mumbai I just feel like they don't have a lot of stuff as compared to what they usually have have when you're traveling abroad so that was the case in korea it was really good i shopped a lot so let me know if you guys want to see a haul in fact even the dress that i'm wearing right now is from forever it's this uh, denim mini uh dress with like gold buttons and there's like this lace detail going on here so i got a lot of cute stuff so, um i'm gonna stop talking now i'm gonna head out really hungry so gonna go get some food and you guys will see what we do so let's go guys so final day in bangkok um leaving today afternoon in fact my flight is at about seven um i thought it was at 11 for some reason but luckily i checked my tickets yesterday and um turns out i have to leave in the afternoon so there's not much i can do today honestly like um osam staying back a day so he's gonna check into another hotel labua so we're just gonna probably go there right now drop his bags because uh, one of his friends is joining him on the trip um, and then we're just gonna head out for brunch because we haven't really eaten anything. It's almost, uh, I think it's about, yeah, it's 11.40. So uh, we have to be checking out in the next 20 minutes and then we're gonna head to Labua and then uh, do brunch. And I actually wanted to go to this uh, local mall here called Platinum, uh, which basically sells a lot of like clothes that you can haggle for and like it's just fun shopping there like probably like most of the time when i shop there i don't actually end up wearing those clothes because uh when you're buying them it just feels like yeah it's like so good everything's so cheap but then when you take it back home it's just like uh yeah i'm not sure but it's just fun going there so um yeah i wanted to go there but i'm not sure if i'm gonna get the time i'm still gonna try uh because i have to head to the airport by around like 3 30 uh so we'll see maybe after brunch i might head to that mall we'll see but um yeah it's time to go for now let me show you what i got last night actually i forgot to show you this um so yesterday when we were leaving from the uh, preview i got this package from monetsuka and i just want to show you what i got one second i'm so excited about the sweatshirt like it's so cool so yesterday the designer was actually wearing this um in the form of t-shirt but this is a sweatshirt i love it um and then they've given this um i'd like to say it's a laptop cover i'm not sure but i mean you can use it for whatever you want but it's so cool but i'm like beyond excited about this sweatshirt i might actually just wear it to the airport tonight it's so cool and also they left this in the room last night so cute a bottle of moe Anyway, I'm gonna head out now um, and I'll see you guys when there's food because, yeah, I'm hungry as always.
So I'm back at Rocket Coffee. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was here when I was in Bangkok last time with Ruchi and Samir. Uh, so I'm back because the food here is really good, and it was just five minutes from um, Lebua, where Sam so just checked in. So yeah, we've called for our food, and I've got some acai, got an acai bowl, some eggs, coffee. Hi guys, so I'm currently at the lounge, um, about to board the flight in about half an hour. So we just got a quick bite at the lounge. It's the time. So yeah, it's about 5 minutes. The flight is at 7 and the boarding starts in about 45 minutes. Um, so I think I'm going to head out and check out some of the duty free stuff because literally Bangkok duty free is one of my favorite duty free places to shop from. I got my Chanel Devel tote from the one in uh, Bangkok, the Bangkok duty free. Um, so I think I'm going to go and check it out. If I find something nice I'll probably vlog and show you uh, what's new in stores. But I think that's a good idea. I think let's head out and check out some of the duty free stores because we have some time. Um, and yeah. And I'm quite happy right now because I had the Thai curry um, at the lounge because I was dying to have some Thai food and I and we couldn't get it last night. So yeah, I'm happy because we got some. I mean, I got some Thai food. Yay! Let's see what's new in Dior. So I just saw some of the Dior uh, jewelry pieces and I'm really into the dainty jewelry that they do. Um, so yeah, I mean I'm not buying it right now but it is definitely on the list. Um, I think I'm gonna get something for my wrist because um, I don't know, I enjoy wearing like dainty pieces like watches and rings. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll buy it from the Bombay store maybe when I'm traveling next to Paris in September uh, because that's the best place to buy Dior and Chanel from. Uh, yeah, we'll see. And now, time for some Chanel. This is where I got my Duel tote from about like a year and a half ago. I couldn't really vlog inside Chanel because like the lady inside was a little weird. She was just like following me around so it was a little awkward to get my camera out. But I'm really into the Chanel top handle bag. It's very similar to uh, the one I have right now, the classic Chanel, but it's with a handle on top. So it's really elegant especially when you're going out in the evening. Um, and it's also really nice to like hold. Who actually want to go that way. Um, yeah. So I'm really into that bag and it's actually the price point is not too bad as compared to the one I have uh, So yeah, that could also be on the list, but actually I don't really need a bag right now. I just got the Dior So I don't need it right now, but it's really good. So we'll see But yeah, what else is here? I mean, I'm, I'm only into like Dior and Chanel at the moment not really into Prada or any other brands. Oh, there's a sale royal. Let's go check them out because I'm really into their uh, tribute heels. Yeah, there are a lot of things on my list. But let's go check out the tribute heels because those could be something I want as well. Um, the store only has bags. They don't keep shoes, but yeah, we can still look around. come to pick me up such a good boy always someone who needs a haircut guys don't you think he needs a haircut and a shave my kabir please singh please look. please comment down below and ask him to shave and my kabir singh look. because he refuses to that's not you've driven me mad that's why i have to become kabir singh only. if you guys don't know what kabir singh is it's a movie go google it <laughs> why will they <laughs> i mean in case they don't know because i wouldn't know unless you told me Anyway, back to Bombay guys. I just wanted to um, end the vlog and tell you thank you for watching. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> like uh, and share the video if you like the vlogs and tell me what you want to watch on the uh, channel next. Uh, I've already uploaded the Korea vlog by now so if you liked it, let me know down below what you thought of the vlog and uh, yeah, enjoy this vlog. I can't talk. I'm gonna stop talking and I'll see you in the next video. Say bye. Bye.